Today we're going to look at how we can compile the uh, tachyon from the online web document into the SPIN compiler. So we've come up to the actual web page document. This is a little bit different from the document that I'm working on, which is this one here. And the web document is the one that should just work anywhere. We're going to select all. That will also select the title. And, and the footer which we don't really want but we'll just go and select all Control c for copy come across here to the spin tool we're going to paste go Control a and overwrite whatever's in there and down the bottom just notice too from the online web, web document not the actual document uh, we need to comment out that last line so we're just going to do that now and over here we have the terminal already it's hooked up to this board over here and what we're going to do is we've set it all up for the right board rate and everything else uh, let's just have a quick look at it there there's all the parameters up there now okay so what we want to do is to disable the comms port so we can do that by going into the parameters menu in minicom and com port is free we can come across here f11 and that's just the stuff that we pasted if you if you go from the actual online document rather than the web page uh, you don't need to comment out that last line okay we come across here and control c and there it is so this is the correct version, call started, and we can talk to it and look at words. Oh, doesn't know that yet. Does know words though. And there it goes. <clears throat> what we're going to do is get the extensions. So we'll go across here to to extend dot fourth over here. We might pick this version out here. Copy that. Control A, Control C. Come back and just do a paste straight into the terminal so you can see all that I'll just paste that straight in there it goes and done now quick words which didn't work before should work now there it is uh, e from dump 0 for 100 e dump there we go no problem. Now what we want to do is load in a demo application that will talk to that LCD display and the LEDs as well which run I2Z bus and by the way the SPI display is actually sharing the clock and data of the I2Z bus and only one other IO line is running the display so we're going to come back here we've got a demo program and it's up here Right there. So we'll take that program there. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. So there's the actual demo program right there. That's what we're going to load in, along with all this other code that defines how to talk to the LCD, how to initialize it, and so on. Okay. So we're we'll zoomed in at the moment. We'll zoom out. select all of that, copy that, come back to the terminal, paste it into the terminal and what we've done with this one here at the very end, we can just see it just backed up just then, so it's just told it to auto run, like that bit there, told it to back up and it's finished loading. So it's all locked in there, so theoretically I'm, I'm going to take a big chance here looking at the display I'm not even going to tell it to run anything I'm just going to unplug the power for it like that and turn it on fingers crossed one, two, three big flashes sequence of LEDs and LCD comes on and in fact we need to zoom in a little bit more let's uh, do that again power it off Power it back on again.
no problem. That's as easy as that one, two, three.